qualities. What is his plan? Is it that he is trying to gather resources tomorrow to fight Bola Tinubu? I mean, I don't, I'm not comfortable with him. A lot of our party members are not comfortable with Wike. So guys, Wike suffers serious rejection from Tinubu and the APC. Take a look at this. Our party is not involved in whatever is going on in, in River State. Certainly our president has no hand in it. Now, as for Wike, a lot of our party members are actually pretty uncomfortable with some of his antics. That's just the bitter truth. Nigerians, it don't happen. You can imagine Wike being thrown out by the APC and equally being rejected by the PDP. It will get to a point Wike will not even have anywhere to stay, as in all the parties are going to be rejecting him because of the kind of person he is, the way he talks, the way he carries himself. You can imagine the APC coming out to say, wow, we are not with him. Whatever he's doing there is up to him. We are not part of his business with Fubara. Mr. Wike appears to be reeking on the PDP, both on the national and state levels. Many of his fellow party members would be forgiven for thinking of him as, as someone who's perhaps fairly unsavory. I mean, is there concern in the APC that if he did cross over, and there's been speculation that he may well be cross over to the APC, especially if the PDP decides that they're going to let him go, he might be an equally destructive force there. Well, if, if it's a question, see, that's why I was trying to separate the issues and, make, and clarify them. We, our party is not involved in whatever is going on in, in River State. Certainly, our president has no hand in it. Now, as for Wiki, a lot of our party members are actually pretty uncomfortable with some of his antics. That's just the bitter truth, you know. Our president called you, called uh, uh, Governor Subara, tried to... Uh, 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 achieve a settlement between the between uh, the two parties, and then the next thing we hear, some people are decamping, and uh, there are moves to impeach impeach the governor, and then uh, we woke up one morning, and then the the a, a budget is presented. Some people are. Uh, their seats are declared vacant. The House of Assembly is being is, is being demolished. These are really, really, really very, very bad optics. That is just the truth. And I personally am uncomfortable with not only not, not a lot of our party members. Maybe they are not uh, because they've not been coming out to 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 say that. But they are highly uncomfortable with Minister Wiki and his and what he are basically his excesses. You so guys, Wiki has not even noticed that the APC members, most of them are so uncomfortable with him. They don't even want him to join the party, you know. It's just that, you know, Tinubu tried to compensate him for helping him during the election. That is why he is the FCT minister. But the fact remains that the APC members are so uncomfortable. You can even hear it being testified by a key APC member. A minister of the Federal Republic, for God's sake. You are not even a member of our party. Our president gave you an appointment. Face your job, for God's sake. Just face the job. Do enough of these antics, these, these, these uh, uh, excesses. You know, it, it, is, it is for you to have managed your relationship with your godson. If you, if, if per adventure, you, 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 there is a problem there. If the president calls you and tries to, to uh, 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 settle the problem between both of you, then it will just come on decency. I mean, the optics does not look good. Is it that our president is not big enough to give Minister Wiki an instruction, go and settle with your son? The, we are politicians. There, there is a way, way, a way politicians approach issues. A pre the president has called you, he's your boss. We, can't, we don't have two captains in, in our ship, in APC. Maybe they do in, in PDP. Uh, well, there's Atiku here, there's uh, uh, Wiki here, there's Obi there, there's, there's whoever somewhere. In our own party, we have just one, cap one captain. And our captain is Bola Tinubu, President Bola Tinubu. So we, we, a lot of us are really uncomfortable with this. We don't need these distractions from our president. You, are, you came from another party, you are, you are part of our government. Please, just behave yourself and do the job our president gave you to, to do and stop all these distractions leave this young man alone settle with him and and let's 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 get on with life please we can leave fubara alone you are done with eight years allow this man to govern his people there was peter Odili did eight years there was 
uh, Roti Brian Meshi did eight years. There was, uh, then came uh, 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 Minister Wike, who did eight years. All that time, the people in the, in the riverine areas, the supposedly lowland areas, where they, they, they put up with it. Now they have a governor, and in a, a matter of months, uh, Minister Wike wants to, wants to impeach him. Let us tell ourselves some truth. Who is going to tolerate that? Who is going to tolerate that? Nobody will tolerate it. You will have, you will certainly have problems in that state. And it's not a question, it's not this, this one, uh, Wicked is giving the pressure that he can, he can uh, just sack in Fubara or he's, he will get. And this, 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 this is what is really rallying some of our party members. This notion that Wicked supporters are putting out there that the president is on his side and the president is going to declare a state of emergency in river. Please stop that nonsense. Our president is not on Wicked's side in this matter at all. At all, at all. Please, that's weakest headache, which is put again, uh, 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 Sim, Sim, Sim You could not manage your put again very well. That is your headache. Don't bring our president into, into, into it. There is indeed a, a sort of ethicization of it. And that is a very, very big problem. You just have to face that reality. There is not, there, the, the, the lowland people, a lot of, a lot, and a lot of their allies from across the Niger Delta are not going to sit comfortably for Sim to just be thrown, thrown, Throw the doctor of the out, out of the government house. That so, if, uh, what what Wike should have done? He should have listened to our president. He should have shown majority. He should have uh, 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 found a, a, a more more. Uh, 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 it, uh, it should have applied some wisdom in trying to uh, uh, achieve a rapprochement with his uh, with his godson. That is what it was was expected of him. Now he's making he's, he's behaving as if he's a loose cannon. Our president can't even talk to him. You can't be given a speech. You are a minister now, Wiki. You are no, no longer some some uh, uh, a free agent out there. You are a minister of the Federal Republic. You are an agent of our president. And you can't you can't to participate in a, 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 a government that is formed by, by a party. We don't behave like this here. Please. This is red card for Wiki. Serious red card. He should be thinking on where to go to next. PDP has rejected him. The APC is already showing him a rejection card. You know, where else is Wiki going to be heading to? Funny thing, the unfortunate thing that happened in Rivers is that the court happened to recognize uh, 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 I think his name is Eddie as as the as the uh, legitimate speaker of the of the of the River State House of Assembly. Unfortunately, he has the power to declare the seat of someone who defects vacant. You know, so I think the remedy for these people who if, we always welcome people to decamp, but I think just common sense should make you. Try to figure out whether it's a good time to decamp or not, or your own. You know, if not, me, I will always welcome you. I would love to welcome Sinfubara to my party. It he doesn't have any problem with uh, with uh, with Bala Tinubu. No, not his lawyer. He's his president Tinubu son. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not against him, and I'm not going to take sides with a uh, uh, weekend against against Sinfubara. On on what basis? Not at all. Even today, when he was talking about his budget. He referenced President Tinubu's uh, re renewed open uh, 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 agenda. So I would even love to welcome uh, Fubara to my party. Eh? What did this man just say? I would even love to welcome uh, Fubara to my party. Say it again. I would even love to welcome uh, Fubara to my party. So these people are eyeing Fubara too. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. APC prefers Fubara to Wiki. My God, can somebody help send this message to Wiki? I would even love to work up uh, Fubara to my party. We can we control FCT and we control rivers. What is what? I mean, I'm a politician. You have to first point is what is his plan? Is it that he is trying to gather resources tomorrow to fight Bola I mean, I don't. I'm not comfortable with him. A lot of our party members are not comfortable with Wike. Let him just we 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 supported him to be a minister because he supported Achiwaju. That is why we 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 supported him. It's not our kind of guy from the from the get go. But. So guys, so the APC is now saying that Wike is a threat to their party. They are afraid Wike might gather money from the FCT and then finally we use it to fight Tinubu. Honestly, you can imagine how these politicians think. They are not thinking about the people. You know, some of them are not seeing fear that this one Wike has been given monopoly over the resources 
uh, of the FCT, he might end up gathering enough money that he will use to fight Tinubu. Meaning that 2027, they are not even sure if Wike is going to give any breathing space to Tinubu. That's just the interpretation. Nigerians, you can see the funny country we are living in. These politicians are just playing with the future of the Nigerian youth who cannot find job. You can see how they think. Honestly, there are a lot of revelations going on now. And as it stands now, Wike might be dumped after being used during the last 2023 presidential election. Wike might not find his feet even in the APC, not to talk of in the PDP. Honestly, it's a very shameful situation for Wike. Now that you are participating in the government, you, be, you, 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 are, you are now a part of our crew. And our, the captain of our ship is, is President Tinubu, and we only recognize one captain. Don't, don't be driving uh, convoys all the time, uh, uh, making videos. I mean, come on. Please, go leave. Our president has told you, go and settle with this young man. Settle with him. Let him run the state. He's the governor of the state, for God's sake. Do your job. The job of uh, the minister of the federal capital is big enough, is great enough for anybody to be satisfied with. Do, do the job. There, there are a lot of problems to solve in the, in the FCT. Go f f face that one. So I, I, can, I can tell you that I do not see Sim Fubara being removed as governor. That, that is not going to happen. We, not, not, we do not support that. Please. And uh, we can and the supporters should not keep pushing this narrative okay. that our president uh, is in support of it. Not okay. at all. All right. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, and let me come to you, uh, Chibuzo Kereke, briefly, if you can. Um, do you see the outlines of a compromise and a, a way out of this political crisis? Well, I think a political solution. And uh, uh, I remember the, the FCT minister saying that the governor disobeyed the president, uh, which means we don't know what they agreed behind closed doors and which role each of the parties have played. But I submit that it is important that the FCT minister focuses on the task at hand. He had made a lot of promises of what he's going to do in the FCT. We cannot, and if you watch videos of a statement from the past, you know, it's a guy who delivered in rivers and were recognized as Mr. Project nationally. He must know that a lot of people admire him mm. because in a country with a debt of a good governance, for somebody to rise to the occasion and provide infrastructure, he got a lot of admirers. So he cannot throw all that away on the altar of political maintenance of a, of a structure. So I think they should sue for peace because they are not the owners of rivers. There are people who have been governors in rivers for years, you know, and some of them are still alive today. So if this thing is tenured by our law. When you finish your own time, it's over. You can only do your best, like he alluded in the past, that he has no business right. in whoever succeeds okay. him. And uh, I want him to keep to his words and uh, support the river's development okay. like in whatever way he can. Yeah. And uh, Mamou Jaga, there's some quick moves to arrest the situation before it degenerates further. And as I was uh, arguing earlier, one way would be. Tomorrow, tomorrow, the House of Representatives can take over the powers of the River State government. That would be one quick way. But the final solution would have to come probably from the President. He is the right. one with the authority to call Nyeso uh, Wiki to order. Okay. From 27 lawmakers to 25 lawmakers who defected from the PDP to the APC, here is the backup information. The information one that one of the lawmakers is of the Labour Party. And so he initially had nothing to do with the movement of the 25 and I mean the 27. And uh, very, very unfortunately, before this political turbulence commenced, one of the lawmakers representing one of the constituencies from the Ogoni ethnic nationality passed on. And so uh, we have one late lawmaker and the one who is not of the PDP before they moved en masse to the opposition uh, opposition or progressives congress and there is another adjunct to that particular information there is a lady in the house representing one of the constituencies in Okrika. we are told that before this crisis started brewing she had obtained permission she has seek permission to travel out of the country for medication and so as we speak uh, that lawmaker is not with this 27 25 that are today still prosecuting what is going on just this afternoon his media aide uh, came out with a press release 
uh, saying that his principal is not and cannot be considered to be part of the 25 now who, he, who are in the immediate past governor's camp because her concept she has not uh, appended a signature to whatever is going on now that that would only happen when she returns and she decides to run with this 25 or decide to stay aloof charles that's the latest concerning your last question Okay, very, very, thank you very much indeed, and very comprehensive um, information you're giving us there. But just very briefly, Andrew, because we're almost out of time, and I've got to get two questions in. The first one is, what sense do you get of where public opinion in River State lies as the fire of this political crisis continues to burn? I mean, do they want the former governor, yes, and Wike for a third term? <laughs> that's that's a very good question, Charles. Obviously not from the feelers we are getting here. Uh, the people of River State and every resident of this state want peace in River State. There's been more crisis than peace in that region for decades, much of it driven and fueled by mercenary politicians who switch sides faster than a spinning coin if it suits their purpose. They've taken their countrymen and women on a breathtaking journey through corruption and violence to a dark and bleak underworld that is far from the progress and developments they were elected to bring. In the face of their transgressions, the shadow over River State grows ever darker as Nyesam Wike and his loyalists in typically pugnacious form drive a coach and horses through what should be Governor Fubara's turf, the mounting cost of their actions there for all to see. Meanwhile, an irresolute, utterly gormless national leadership in both the PDP and the APC looks on obliquely as the political barrel in River State becomes ever more rotten. And if the biggest apple in the barrel is rotten, what hope is there for the seedlings? So guys, you have seen it for yourself. The APC has come out to reject uh, Wike and all his actions, you know, against the sitting governor of River State. You know, I believe that any patriotic Nigerian, I believe that any sensible human being will condemn what Wike is doing. Honestly, he's not supposed to be doing all this after eight years that the people gave you their mandate in the state. And despite all the things that Wike did during the last election, which so many people condemned, Wike still has the boldness to go fight the sitting governor of the state honestly everybody should condemn it and i'm happy to see the apc coming out to say he is not part of us we are we, we are we are against what he's doing we are not in support of him Tinubu is not in support of him so what is giving Wike the backup what is giving him the backing what is emboldening him what is giving him the boldness to come out and be doing all these things without any fear and you know he's got, he does not even have any regret he does not regret whatever is playing out in river state honestly so my my own understanding is that you see these politicians take the people for granted they are doing all these things but the masses are the ones suffering it you can imagine how many businesses have been uh have been affected in river state you can imagine how many people cannot go to their places of work you've seen the protests i mean people the citizens are meant to live their daily struggles to come to protest in support of the governor because we can wants to still exact power over him in the state despite being the FCT minister. So I, I'm also shocked, you know, hearing the APC chieftain saying that what is we even trying to do? Does it mean he's trying to gather resources to fight Tinubu? So it means that the a APC themselves, they are being very careful in managing the person of Wike in the party. As in, they are not that free. They are not open. They are being careful. They are still monitoring Wike's, uh, you know, shenanigan, all the things they have been playing out all this time. They are just monitoring him to no, if it's even the type they are going to accept into their party or not. Anyway, whether Wike stays back in the PDP or he moves over to the APC, it does not make any meaning. It does not make any sense to me because they are birds of the same feathers. So we all Nigerians, patriotic Nigerians, who hope to see a new Nigeria, we should only watch out, you know, on things we should do to ensure that a new Nigeria is better. 
Also, Asari Dokubo has been seen on the social media lately crying out seriously over the way Tinubu has been treating him. He believes that Tinubu has abandoned him and his people, that he took his time, his resources, and all that to fight for Tinubu. But today, Tinubu is not even minding them again. And you know, he has gone further to say that Tinubu's government is the worst ever. You need to listen to this Nigerian. Just take a look at this. Niger Delta militant leader Asari Dokubo was a staunch supporter of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu during the elections. In a now viral video, described the Tinubu administration as the worst government, Asari made the comments while lamenting over the political crisis in River State, stating that the crisis affects the people of Niger Delta region, especially the Ijo ethnic group. I agree that this is the worst government. This government is against the Ijo people and you want to add, you want to add petrol to fire, this is the worst government that is leading of the job people. If nobody is telling you as a friend, I will tell you, the job people feel this is the worst government for them. This is a nightmare for them. And when we were voting, when, the, when we were campaigning for you, a lot of the job people called me, ah, Prezido, you don't know Tinibu. You know everything about Tinibu. Tinibu is your friend. We hope. We hope. It's not going to look the other way. And I assured everybody. I say, if Tinibu fails, hold me responsible. And today, the people are asking me, are you still on that, that if Tinibu fails, hold me responsible? River State is a litmus test. He said River State is a litmus test. Honestly, Nigerians, hey, Asari Dokubo cannot believe his eyes, what he's seen. You can remember when he used to, you know, gather his men, his boys, and they would go to Abuja even to disrupt the court session. And because they were in support of the APC, the police agents could not go after them. The DSS could not go after them. Uh, not nobody, as in the agents, the security agents, couldn't even like stop them. We saw all what they did in Abuja. In the name of their supporting Tinubu, they were singing turn by turn. Is Jagaban turn? Obi should wait for his turn. Honestly, now he can't believe what he's seen. You see, that is why we all must stand for good governance, no matter the section of the country you come from don't be so self-centered don't just you know mind only things that interest you and your people let's all come out to be patriotic nigerians and speak for the good of nigeria as a country let's call a spade a spade all that happened during the re election were all wrong I, I mean all that happened during the election were all wrong how i abandoned the process the guidelines that they gave all the you know all the malpractices that happened that was what peter will be went to court to challenge and still people still found uh, reasons to be blaming peter will be today asari dokubo is now opening up his mouth to say that tinubu's government is the worst He's yet to see what the worst is. Or he's yet to see more. Let's just watch out to see how all this play out. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. Thank you.